Today, I break down a viral faceless short slash reel that I posted and got well over 50,000 views across all platforms. Now, the reason why that is really good is because it's only been 48 hours within me posting it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it right here in DaVinci Resolve. And guess what, guys? You could do this in the free version too. And guys, these print. You don't need AI. All you need is to watch Ryan Herrick show you how to do it. So let's hop into DaVinci Resolve. Now, to start off that hook, you do need a voiceover. For you guys, I've actually provided the voiceover in the link down below. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to this little wand right here. This is gonna be where all of your effects are. And we're gonna go to generators and we're gonna grab a solid color. Now we're gonna put this above our text layer and we're just gonna drag this out to how far we want it. Now I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna bring this about one, two, three, maybe four-ish frames above the other text layer. And we're gonna make this one white. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna swipe up on our timeline and you're gonna get these little white dots and you're just gonna fade them in. Now, what this is gonna do is create this little transition from black to white. And that's exactly what we want, essentially. We're going to now do a up animation with a follower node. It's gonna be very simple. Now head over back to the effects page and go to titles. And we're just gonna drag down a text plus node. And we're gonna create this once and just use it for the rest of the video. So we're gonna head into the fusion page. We're gonna shift space for a transform node. So under the template into the text box, we're gonna go ahead and just type out whatever we want. So I say, here's how to create. And we're gonna go ahead and use Use the font Helvetica Noon, and we're just gonna go to like a bold italic and bring this up. So already we already have this like premium type of vibe here. Um, and then in the beginning, we're just gonna go in our text box and we're gonna go to the follower node right here. And then we're gonna open up our modifiers. This is where we're gonna control everything from here. In our transform, we're gonna have this offset X and Y position. So on frame one or zero, whichever works for you, we're gonna hit a keyframe on the Y position. Now you're gonna open this back up cause it's gonna now take you away from it. And then you're gonna bring this down just like so. We're gonna bring it down to like negative two or something like that. We're only gonna bring it approximately 16 frames up and come back to zero. You're gonna notice you have this linear animation. So to literally make this so much smoother, go to the hit the spline button right here. And then in this, you're gonna copy both of the points. So just by doing this, and we're gonna double click or right click on your mouse and go to ease and out cubic. This is gonna create that follower animation. So now we gotta get it to where each little thing now comes up individually. So go back to your timeline, go to modifiers. We're gonna go to timing and we're gonna change this delay to 0.45. Now, if we play this through, you're gonna have something just like this. Now, next we're gonna search for Gaussian blur and we're just gonna add this onto our timeline. Now this is gonna really give it that effect. So we're gonna start at like 0.3 and we're gonna hit a keyframe and then we're gonna go up to like right about here and then we're just gonna turn off the blur. So just turn it down. We don't have to turn it necessarily completely off, but we'll just turn it down just like that. So now we have something like this. Now under the modifiers, we're gonna come back to the shading and we're gonna turn the opacity all the way down. I hit a keyframe. We're gonna go up and as we scroll up, we're gonna turn the opacity up as well. So then now we have something just like this. Now I know that can get tricky, which is why I invented what's called Motion Text Pro, which is a 250 plus animation pack. So if you see right here, all we have is just the blur slide up. So if I deactivate this, you can see that all I had to do is drag and drop this down and now I have that animation ready for me. So now all I have to do is type in, here's how to make this. Now, here's how, to here's, how, here's how to make this. I have it just like that and now it's already done for me. Or you can go ahead and actually just use the one that I told you and come over to your power bins and add them to your power bins. That way you can use it in every single video or every single project file that you open moving forward. In today's example, I'm gonna be using my text effect. I mean, it's the same exact thing, but so obviously we have here's how to create Okay, and then now we're just gonna add a simple zoom out animation. If you guys don't know what magic zoom is, it's by this creator called Mr. Alex Tech, arguably one of the best DaVinci Resolve creators in the space right now. His plugin is completely free. So we're gonna drag his hold out animation. And if we pair those together, you use two animations and you clash them together, it's going to create a crispy 3D type of look. So when we zoom this out and then we zoom this up, it's gonna make it really crispy. Now what we have, is we have this transitioning into a white screen. So now I'm able to come here and type in clean and change this color to black and size this up. So now if we play this through, like look at how clean that looks. And I just did that in like, what, two minutes? And I'm thinking I wanna do something a little differently here. We're gonna double click this and come back in here. We're gonna go ahead and do apple styled, just like so. 
and we're going to do another one just copy and paste this all over using the same animation. So just like that, text effect. So now if we play this through, here's how to create clean Apple style text effect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the effects page again. We're gonna go ahead and go to generators and we're gonna get a four color gradient. Keep these two colors and then just, we're gonna make a solid gradient. So we're gonna bring that kind of purplish vibe and we're gonna to bring it turquoise again. So now we're gonna create this as a compound clip and we're gonna ice it up by going to the effects page typing in film creator look on the top, like, like in the search bar, and then just simply add it to your footage and change the preset to like default 35 millimeter. That's why it's not overpowering. And then just come to this film look blend and just turn it down just a bit. So I know it's not too overpowering. So now we have something just like this. And if we copy and paste our first text effect, we're gonna just do in seconds, just like so, or in 30 seconds, whatever it is just like that. So in, in 30 seconds, in 30 seconds, or there's another way we can do this. We're going to come to my text timeline and we're going to grab this preset that I have right here. I'm going to copy and paste this into my timeline, just like this. So copy and paste. And then I am going to simply change this color to like a white effect. So I have this cool crispy timeline right here. It kind of does like this little swipe effect. Um, if you guys want to learn how to do this, there's a shine text video right here, but we're going to come over to the color corrector and I'm going to bring this down to like all just white colors, just like so. And then I'm going to change this color to a white color as well. Now it looks something little like that. And then I'm going to do 30 seconds, just like so. Size that puppy up. And I'm going to put this one to say in and I'm going to size this one up and you guys, you guys just saw, I did that in like two seconds, but in 30, in 30 seconds. seconds, just like that. Now I have this cool little, like, look at how clean that looks. Look at that little thing right there that wiggles through. That's so clean. Editing faceless reels just like that is as simple as that. And the reason why this hook is only four seconds is because now the rest is just a simple tutorial, which is what I did in my video, which now went viral. So if you're looking for that tutorial niche or you think that this hook right here helped you, then drop a subscribe and follow me on everything on my socials. And also it doesn't hurt to go check out Motion Text Pro down in the first link in the description. But if I just gave you some serious sauce, let me know down in the comments below what you would like to learn from me next because I'm an open book. I'm willing to give you guys all the sauce that I have in this noggin of mine right here. So I will see you guys in the next video.